Hey, I'm Kurt Thompson. I want to give you some good advice. What is the absolute worst professional trumpet that you could play commercial lead or high notes on? It's the quintessential Bach Stradivarius trumpet. It's very, very simple. And the reason it's striking is because it tends to be a trumpet that a lot of kids, junior high and high school kids, are told to get. I was told the same thing. Okay, I was told that was the horn to get uh, in junior high, and th they didn't mention um, um, Stomvi, they didn't mention Calicchio, they didn't mention uh, Callet, they didn't mention um, Besson, and um, a lot of these others. They mentioned constantly the Bach Stradivarius. So naturally, I uh, babysat, cut grass, washed cars, hoofed it until in ninth grade I was able to get a nice used um, Bach, a medium large, typical plain vanilla Bach Stradivarius, 37 bell. And I'm guessing based on what the lady told me who used to play it, and she was quite older, uh, it was probably built 72, 73, 74. A good all around horn. But a good all-around horn does not make a good lead or commercial horn, and I was soon to find that out through a lot of frustration. I always had the feeling that the Bach Strad was fighting me when I was uh, in marching band. Uh, but on other things, it uh, was very well suited for. Uh, classical music, solo work, smaller intimate uh, chamber ensemble, brass quintet, weddings. Um, and I never really got into symphonic playing because I just can't stand counting, you know, 80 and 100 and 120 measures of rest. But um, it's probably good for that. However, my destiny was not to play high D's and be proud of that playing Mahler in the symphony. My destiny was much greater than that. And I found that the frustration level was partly due it, partly due to playing on a box Stradivarius, no matter what mouthpiece I got. I'm not kidding you. So, uh, if you're playing on a box Strad right now and you don't care about lead trumpet, jazz, rock, commercial, Broadway, nothing like that, you're satisfied to play in wind ensemble or brass bands or concert bands, then you got my uh, thumbs up. That's a good horn for that. If you want a horn that's going to project, that's going to have a tremendous amount of power, um, you're going to be really frustrated and very disappointed with the um, most common professional trumpet that's recommended to just about every kid on the planet. I believe that's the Bach Stradivarius. So if you're playing a Bach Stradivarius and you'd actually like to do something besides play the Haydn, and you'd like to do something else besides play in your concert band and you, you're thinking about maybe doing commercial or lead trumpet, you're going to have to get rid of that horn. And, or put it, put it in the closet. You need to be looking at other horns. And I'm going to make another video with some horn recommendations. In fact, I'm going to even include some links um, with some special deals on uh, trumpets that I've played that you can actually hear me playing on. Some of these will have been um, recorded in the studio, so you get to really know how I sound like, not what you're typically hearing me just playing through a cell phone, which you should know by now that that's not very representative of somebody's playing. But I do have um, some from favorite horns that I've used in the past that um, have been recorded with uh, better equipment. You'll be able to hear that. But for right now, the worst trumpet to play on, to play high notes, to have power to project and to cut through loud ensembles and rock bands and Broadway shows and big bands is not is not what you would have thought. The worst, I'm not joking, this is not a joke. It's the box Stradivarius, get rid of it or, or put it away. And stay tuned for some upcoming uh, tutorials and videos that are going to give you um, a push in the right direction for the horn you need to play on. I'm Kurt Thompson. I hope you found this video informative 
And you know, you can always, if you're skeptical, go out and get a box Strad and go into a loud 18 piece jazz band and play lead on Buddy Rich and you're gonna fall flat on your face and you're gonna shake your head and you're gonna be like, doggone it, that Kurt Thompson was right. Ah. You know what, hope you liked this video. Hope you got something out of it. Like it below, hit, hit, hit the like button. Give me the thumbs up. And if you'd like to find out more videos like this that are helpful, and a value, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, it's easy. And in fact, I got, I'm pushing 1100 videos now folks. Click the subscribe button and then you got over a thousand videos. All kinds of subjects, I'm sure, positive, you're going to get something good out of it. I'll see you in the next one.